All right, guys, we got them all off. Super, super easy. You just need like a flat head. Um, I use this. So they just pried all of the plastic pieces off, okay? So we got those little ones and then these big ones. I don't know what this is for. I, I was assuming it was like a screw-on kind of thing, but it didn't move. So I literally just put it under this little piece here and just popped it off just like I did with these. Okay, so it's super easy. Let's see what is under. Oh, wait, we got one more clip. Never mind. One more clip, bear with me. Pop. Done. Okay, let's see. What's under here? Okay, I didn't see that. What the fuck? Oh, I got one more clip. Ooh. Sick. Okay. I just got an idea. I could actually paint this, change the color, or wrap it with something else. Remember, like some diamond stitched? Or to match the floor of the trunk setup. What you guys think? Comment down below what you think I should change this to. All right, here we go. Pretty small. I always try to guess this on the first try. Let me see, it's, yeah, it's pretty small. I want to say eight mil. Let's see if I'm right. <laughs> eight mil it is, baby, let's go. This thing should come right off. It's not coming off. What's under there? Is it just 3M? No, can't be. Oh, it might be 3M, guys. Okay, here we go. This sucker is gonna come off, whether it likes it or not. Don't be difficult. I cut this sucker off. <laughs> I'm doing this side so you guys can see. Well, no. Let me do it from here. Don't freaking move, bro. It's probably gonna move, but whatever. I probably should not have taken this off until... Well, I mean, how was I supposed to know? I needed it. All right, guys, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. It's literally being... It's literally being held by this here. Okay. Which we can take out. not by pulling on that let me get this out real quick all right guys there it is so now um unfortunately <sighs> i should not have taken this off man damn because i don't even have the extra piece i would have to buy it now so yeah i would need the silver piece that goes on to here and then the new piece we're going to. But as of right now, I have holes. All right guys, so yeah, I just looked it up. Um, okay, so that chrome trim is literally gonna sit. They have the moldings for it already. You see this here? It would sit here. This is gonna be the corner of it. It comes out here and finishes here. Okay. Um, and then yeah, everything else will sit right in here. So the camera, I, I don't know if it's gonna come with a camera or not. Uh, I'll see if it can come with one and see if that's easily set up because that'll be pretty cool to throw a camera in there. Um, but if not, I mean, I've always driven without a camera anyway, so that's just a luxury to have. Um, and then yeah, once I have that piece, then the other one will literally sit right on top. And how we doing? Um, today is like maybe two or three weeks, I don't know, after um, 
the last video that you just saw that was me figuring out what i needed to do how to take off the spoiler or whatever um i actually needed that again that chrome trim that you typically see on g's so i had to wait for that to come in that took about a week or two so uh finally got everything in i'm gonna go ahead and take this off remove the spoiler as well install that chrome trim and then hopefully today install the um uh, the new spoiler all right i'm gonna be doing that with juju i don't want to mess up on this one i can do it myself but i'd rather there be four eyes and the other eyes being very knowledgeable okay uh just so that way the fitment the um space between left and right sides everything is perfect so um all right so i'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, get this off get everything rolling and uh yeah enjoy this install All right, guys so first step is done we have this part off it, this one is very very simple to do it's literally as you see all these holes here it's just some tabs that's all okay you have that little piece there which is this which comes off extremely easily um and then this one as well all you got to do is just put this through get like a flat head i'm using this um get like a flat head and just pry it out it's just literally some tabs that you just pop right in so um all right, so this one's done. Now, next step is the spoiler itself. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so before I go ahead and take off the spoiler, just so you guys know, it's very, very easy to take this off. First things first, make sure you do disconnect this. This is pretty much the electronic uh, connection, the electric connection for this, so that way this can communicate with your key fob. All right, so when you're close by, you push that and then the trunk will pop open or if you're far away and you want your trunk open you hold that trunk button and that's what will pop it up so disconnect that first once you're done you have one bolt here i am missing one here don't know where it is um so i made sure that one was extra tight um so yeah one bolt two bolt and i believe there was a third here and a fourth there no maybe so i'm not sure but I know there's one and two, plus all of the 3M tape that was holding it, which I had already cut off, which you guys saw in the previous video. Um, once that is done, you see how this is rubber and you can squeeze it. You're gonna have to squeeze it and kind of shove it through that hole. Same thing with this. You're gonna have to push, push that in and it'll go right through, all right? Got it off. All right, so once you're done, you do not need to take that off. My new um, little metal trim that goes right on top there comes with this already. So I'm literally just gonna thread it through, bolt it back up, and that should be good to go. Right, guys so again step by step on how to do this there were these like rubbery tabs um or covers for the holes if this car did not which it didn't of course come with this chrome trim um <clears throat> so all i did i was gonna like peel it all off but eh, that's too much work <laughs> so i literally just cut a little hole with the uh, with the knife a little slit so that way they all can go right through all right, so it should go in, line them all up. All right, let me put the phone down. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, so there it is. New spoiler, done. I'm just kidding. This is just the first half. We're halfway through the spoilers inside there. I'm gonna hold on to this one just in case, uh, but I may sell it. So if any of you guys are actually interested in this spoiler, I do like it. I, it's not the fact that I didn't like it, um, but I just, I had it for so long, you know, since I had the car, since I got the car. So 
you know, just wanted a little bit of a, a little bit of a change, and also just to, I, I feel like there's so much going on on the side of the car, especially in the front of the car and the rears. The only thing that that the, the only thing that was, I guess you know, noticeably modified was the exhaust, and yeah, of course the tail lights. But the tail lights to me are are not such a big thing anymore because I did that stuff a long time ago. So. Hopefully the spoiler will spice up the rears and um, we got some more mods coming in for the rear as well. But, um, but yeah, this is our first step. So let's get right back to it. I'm going to go ahead and bolt this up. I do need to get extra bolts because as you can see, we have one, two, three and four. And I only have one. So, gonna have to get some more, which is not a problem at all. All right, all right, let's get back to work. So I just got off the phone with Juju. I'm actually gonna go ahead, I packed everything up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready real quick and head out. I'm gonna meet him at the shop. We're gonna do some work, well, not me. He's gonna do some work. He wanted me to, to come out, to check it out. Um, he just bagged this. I'll just, I'll show you guys in a second, but damn, this shit is crazy. And then he's gonna help me out uh, throwing that on again, so that way we can make sure the fitment's good. All right, so I'm gonna get ready real quick and I'll pick it up in a sec. Oh, well, well. <laughs> damn, boy. Yo, I love this color. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> oh, babe. I'm gluing, uh... <laughs> did I disconnect it? <laughs> Yeah, my bad, bro. Dude, this color is gorgeous, man. This shit wet, wet. Ooh. What's up, Serena? What's up, mama? How you doing? What you got? What is that? All right, guys, we're taking up all this shit here real quick. And then we're gonna throw the sucker on. <laughs> Y'all get ready for this shit, man. This car, oh my God. Yo, what is this gonna be done? When is this gonna be done? Pin it? Yeah. One month. One month? Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna tell you what color he's doing, but in one month, just wait. Wait for it, man. This is gonna be nasty. Get a good look at it. Remember the original color? Yes, sir. And if you have not already, make sure you go follow him. All right, Drew Bags is about to get a whole brand new car. While right, he does that, I'm gonna try to get this shit off. All right, guys, so change of plans. Uh, Drew just had to run out real quick, take care of some stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna head home, and I was I just finished up cleaning up the um, all of the garbage. Actually, let me just show you. So it's all cleaned up now, but we are not gonna go ahead and we're not gonna leave the um, that little new part, that little chrome trim. We're not leaving that chrome. We know that I don't like chrome. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and black that out. So if he has time today, we're gonna go do. We're gonna go ahead and finish that up today. If not, hopefully by tomorrow. Um, and the spoiler, the M-style spoiler does not need any kind of screws. The, the holes that I saw were actually drainage holes. So if there's any kind of water that gets in there, the water would just uh, come right out. Um, so all it is is pretty much 3M. He did tell me that he, he would rather use an epoxy to really, really hold it on, hold it down. Uh, so I'm gonna wait for him just so that way that sucker is on there. I don't wanna be on the freeway 
um, or I don't know, uh, at, at Fastlane Friday Racing again, and the damn thing flies off and it breaks or whatever. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna go back home real quick, take care of some stuff, and pick it up later on. All right, see ya. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. What the hell did you do? But there was a Phillips on the end. Oh, all one of those. So it has, it has this size, this size, this size, this size. Oh, a, nine, a 916 or 1532, a 10 millimeter. I think this is like another millimeter yeah. and then an extractor tool. Damn. It's got a valve stem tool. I gotta get me one of these. It's got the square. And then it's got the bigger square. Oh, sick. Yeah. All right, guys. We are finally, I know it's late, but we're finally putting on the Mamashalanga. The Mamashalanga, Mamashalanga. Mamashalanga. The spoiler. We're going to go ahead and dechrome this first. He's going to slap some black on it. And then he's going to be using epoxy instead of 3M tape. You should be able to just like poke it through. I love it. Pino, 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 Who's that? It's red. It's red. Who's your boy? This nigga up your eyes. I'm good shit. And the funny thing is, I used to change that nigga back. No. Yeah. Alright, guys, so this one's black already. Told you I don't like chrome. Black my, my soul. Black like my anus. My anus pink. <laughs> I don't know why I get black. <laughs> that shit dirty. Man, that shit got good though. Lick my. Your balls, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna wait for this to dry up real quick. After that, then we're gonna slap on. Guys, so just black this out. I'm going flat black. And this, flash black. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We got our M style spoiler on. Yeah, this thing looks so damn good. Ah, wow, well, finally. Finally, 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 finally. Got it in. Looks great, guys. It's really, really good. Definitely changed the back now. To be honest, I love the rear end a little bit more, okay? I'm gonna say a little bit because we still have some stuff to do in the back. This is very, this is not complete yet, um, but back end definitely looks a little bit better. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want yours, make sure to click the link down below. Um, hit up uh, South Bay Auto Works and remember to use my code modded media it's all together okay modded media get yourself 15 percent off all right and again if you guys want this remember you do need that part you do need that piece that bottom piece we just painted it black so that way we can take off that freaking chrome i hate that chrome. all right very easy mod definitely changes the back end Great. All right, guys. So there's another mod, another addition to the G37. 
Um, again, go get yours and check out his other products too. He has all kinds of stuff. So check it out. Let me know if you guys put it on. Send me a message. Again, share your builds with me, guys. We'd love to see. We'd love to hear from you guys as well. All right. So if you guys liked this modification, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Keep helping me grow. We have been growing faster than I thought. Um, we're already at about 148 subscribers. So 40, those 48 that have come after the 100, man, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you. And my 100, you guys are sick. Okay? In a good way. Sick in a good way. <laughs> All right? All right, y'all. So this is it for today. I'm going to catch y'all guys later with the next one. Um, next one should be really, really good. Um, well, I was going to say what it, what it is, but no. Y'all got to come back. Y'all got to come back to find out. All right. So this has been Modern Media. Build your cars for you, y'all. Do what makes you happy. I'll see you on the next one.